Let's complete the incisions to open up the abdominal cavity. So the first incision is going to be done with the scalpel. You hold the umbilical cord, start up around the rib cage just below the sh where the arms attach. Can press inside but not too deeply. We don't want to cut through the muscle and into the organs. And if you need to make a couple cuts, that's good. Your scalpel is very sharp, so it should be a little easier. Uh, and that's the very first cut. Um, to be sure that you've gotten through there, you can hold up in the umbilical cord and put your scissors inside and even cut up a little towards the thoracic cavity, uh, cutting through the ribs. But we'll get into the ribs later. And that's the first cut. The second cut can be done with the scissors by holding up the umbilical cord and cutting around and down towards the junction where the legs attach to the body and you can always expand those cuts later and the same on the other side carefully again so you're not cutting any organs inside and when you cut down all the way you'll have a be able to show that, pull that flap back. Now, I accidentally cut, there's a cord here, uh, a, a vessel that connects the umbilical cord, uh, right here it got cut, um, to the internal organs. And so you may have that still attached. At some point in time, we'll need to cut that. And if you cut that accidentally, like I just did, uh, no problem. Um, again, that's the way the blood would get from mom um, to each of the little piglets as they're developing in their uterus. All right. Uh, cut number three, you know, cut along the side. So we can open up the side of the abdominal cavity and have a flap so we can actually access all of the things inside the cavity. Uh, and it may be a little challenging to do, but again, take your time carefully. And so you can do that, and as you do that, if you'd like, you can take a pin or two and actually pin back the sides so they're out of your way. There. You can do the same on the other side. And again, careful with the tip of your scissors so you don't cut into any internal organs. Keep them just under the skin onto the muscle tissue there. And do the same down here. And then again we'll have two flaps and we'll have accessed the abdominal cavity so we can take a look at the digestive system. Be the first step in this process. Uh, you may also want to rinse out the inside of your pig. Um, rinse out any materials that happen to be sitting in there. You can see there's some brown material um, that's in here but that's one of the things that you can do, and those are the cuts to access the abdominal cavity.